So I'm playing 2K14 and I did something I normally never do. I completely just stopped the game. I was like, I need to go to sleep. Went in there, went to sleep, probably about 20 minutes or so. And I just had the urge, I gotta use the bathroom. So I went to use the bathroom and while I was using the bathroom, uh, I had this numb feeling, kind of, the numb feeling was like that feeling like when you're asleep and then all of a sudden you wake up, you're like, ah, my, my hand is numb. I went to the kitchen to grab a cup and, you know, put, put some water in it. Well, I didn't, I was so thirsty, I didn't get to grab a cup. You know, I kind of gathered myself a little bit, but, I, but, but my whole body was like feeling numb on my left side. I'm like, man, what the heck is going on? So I called for Michelle. Then I just kind of turned my body like that and I saw my arm swing. I was like, man, am I having a stroke or something? <laughs> and lo and behold, that's what was going on. I thought of a little tongue twister for him to say, which was, every dog has a good day. And he looked at me and he said, something but it wasn't that by then i already had the 911 operator on the phone and so she was able to you know hear that as well and then be able to kind of like verify that you know he was like one of three um, on the stroke scale if not two i'd have been expecting it all along um, for them to say okay he's had a stroke but i did not expect for it to be as severe as it was one of the the uh the deals that was affected in my mind <clears throat> or in my brain was uh, the emotion, was it the, the emotional? Right, your emotion center? Yeah, the emotion center. I can go from excited and you say one thing and I'm from excited to I don't have any time to think about it and I'm sad. I remember one time he was at the hospital before going to rehab and he told the doctor, he said, well, am I ever going to walk again? And the doctor, real, it felt cold, but he said, he looked at him, he said, no, you'll never walk again. He had his emotional zero to a hundred moment. And he's like, you know, how do you say that to me? That's just that calmly. And, but that's where the network came in, you know, which was, if that's your goal, then you go for it. I'm a lefty, right? This is my left hand. Everything looks normal, right? But I can't do that. You know, this is pretty much where it is now, but I'm a lefty. What are you hopeful for for the future? Working with kids, but doing it at a, at a, at a higher level. I feel like I have a lot to offer uh, when it comes to sports uh, because I've done it for so long. And then just, dealing with people uh, on an individual basis. There's a lot of people out there that are looking for uh, advice on, on things. And, uh, you know, I think I'm, I'm, I'm pretty versed on a lot of stuff like that. So uh, there's a lot of stuff, like I say, that I, that I can still offer. Do you have any words of encouragement you'd like to share with anyone experiencing something similar? Being patient with the situation is important, right? Uh, being patient with that person is important. Uh, the one thing that you need to do when that person feels like they're ready, allow them to do things. Those people that are in the situation, that, that, have, that, that have been through that traumatic situation, man, challenge yourself, man. Challenge yourself to get better. Challenge yourself to, uh, to do things that you felt like you were not able to do, you know. That those are like important things that people need to that people need to know.